in that case, we will now start the show. Uh, and the start the show actually starts like this. Hello! 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 Hello. Hello. Uh, I am the international rock star MJ Hibbett. Hello? 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 And I'm his friend Steve. Hello. Hello. And uh, we'd like to welcome you to approximately 50 minutes of singing, dancing and titting about... Which we had to call... Hey, hey, 16K, what does that get you today? You need more than that for a letter. Old school rap packs are much better. Zelix Spectrum 81, Dragon Thick and Orange 1, Commodore 64, Amstrad and an Acorn Electron. Cheaper BBC Micro. Jetta, Willy, Sabre, Wolf, Lords of Midnight, Underworld, Ducks, Hot, Trout, Amant, Attack, and of course Manic Minor. The Hobbit, a night floor and delete. We bought it to help with your homework. We bought it to help with your homework. And the household accounts. If your dad ever works it all out. Oh, oh hey, hey, 16K. What does that get you today? You need more than that for a letter. Old school brown packs are much better. <laughs> so much. Steve, why is the show called Hey Hey 16K? Is it about the home computer boom of the 1980s? Well, no, it's not about the home computer boom of the 1980s. But if that's what you've come for, please don't leave. There is a bit of that about halfway through. If that's not what you've come for, then you're in luck. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, uh, uh, I, I simply call the show Hey Hey 16K because, well, that was the name of my big hit, of course. Your big hit, Mark. Please tell us all about it. Oh, Stephen. Every time we've done this show, I've begged you not to mention my big hit. Every time, please don't bring up my big hit, but still, my big hit mentioning it, but if you insist. What happened was, uh, about 10 years ago, uh, somebody did a viral video for my song, Hey Hey 16K. Uh, they put it online, and within a fortnight, it had been seen by over 2 million people. Ooh. 2 million people. 2 million people, so I thought, well, if I call a show Hey Hey 16K, <laughs> thousands of people will queue up to see it. Maybe, maybe they're still here. Maybe they're still here. Maybe they're still here. <laughs> but as for what the show's actually about, well, <laughs> what was that unearthly noise? I didn't hear anything. No. A hole in the space-time continuum. <laughs> we can all go home now, that was worth five quid as it was. <laughs> oh no, I'm going backwards through time. Phones are getting bigger. Music is getting better. <laughs> Tony Blair is starting to seem like a good idea. It stopped, but... Where and when can I be? Uh, hello? 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 Hello there, mate. Would you like some Angel Delight? Ah, it appears that I've landed in the 1980s, but this doesn't seem like any kind of version of the 1980s that I've read about. <laughs> Every time I think Broken smoke and litter everywhere Everything looks dirty and no one has washed their hair Everybody's either really young or really old Everyone looks poorly and is wrapped up for the cold This is the 1980s, how it was but it's not the version we are shown Because History's rewritten by the people Who did best from it They reinforced the bits they liked And then erased the rest of it The clips on my TV Are not the real ladies where are all the sports cars, all the shoulder pads and cash? 
Where are royal weddings and the children waving flags? Where's all the glamour? Where's Duran Duran? Where's champagne and leg warmers? The 18 Elf and Wham? All the decadence and wealth must be somewhere else. Cause history's rewritten by the people who did best from it. They reinforce the bits they liked and then erase the rest of it. The features of us these are not the real ladies. I cannot pick up MTV or solve the Rubik's Cube. I spent my life revising for exams I never use. But the main thing I remember is being really bored and knowing I was bound to die in a nuclear war. This is the 1980s, how it was. But it's not the story Tories tell because history's rewritten by the people who did best for me. They reinforced the bits they liked and then erased the rest of it. The pictures that you sweet are not the real 80s. When Tropicana's closed, the Blitz Club's boarded up. They've all gone to the Falklands with the money and the drugs. I am left to wonder as the smell of hairspray fades. What story will the future one day say about today? So I know when I am, but where am I? I know, I'll ask this intense yet charismatically handsome young man. Um, excuse me. Sorry, mate, I can't stop. I'm off to make cheesecake out of a packet. <laughs> uh, yeah, but before you do that, uh, just tell me, are, are you from round these parts? I suppose so, yeah. Right, and yeah. Um, what, what manner of place is this? I come from the fens, although you'd never know it. I've got a funny accent, but I don't like to show it. My friends have got my fingers, my sister's got 15. I come from the fens, where everyone's like me. But me too. I come from the fens, where no one has toboggans. The landscape is so flat. The gradients are long ones. We like to live not far above the level of the sea. I come from the fens where everyone's like me. What a coincidence! We come from the fens where nothing obscures the sky. Harry would the way he's here, but no one quite knows why. We like to keep our breeding circle in the family. We come from the fens where everyone's like me. We come from the fence where everyone's like me. Yeah, it's good to mention it. You do look a bit familiar. Everybody round here does, mate. This is Peterborough. <gasps> Peterborough, my old hometown. But then, what is the exact year? 1985. Uh, 1985. Before I was even born. <laughs> but then, in that case, uh, who, who, who are you? I, I am the soon-to-be international novelist and playwright, Mark Hibbert. <gasps> you mean you're me? It is the role of a lifetime. <laughs> but, but hang on a minute, that, that, that can't be right. Surely, surely in 1985, I would have scarcely been... Right. Fifteen. But what? Fifty? Surely not. God, I hate you. God. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. God. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Not that I care. No. But who are you? I'm you from the future. Is the future in a different aspect ratio? 
<laughs> Look, I'll, I'll prove it to you. Just, just ask me a, ask me a series of questions that, that only I'd know the answer to. All right then. Ah, here we go. Where were you born? Stanford. When is your birthday? Who was your first pet? And what's your mother's maiden name? In the future, I can't say all that stuff out loud. Especially not in front of such a dodgy looking crowd. <laughs> just, just ask some questions that only you would ever ask. All right. Which Beatle had the best solo career? Paul McCartney and Wings. Number one superhero. The ever loving Blue Eyed Thing. Favourite sandwich filling. Cheese and salad cream. Peterbury United are the greatest football team. I think you might be me. I'm saying that I'm you. Who's the perfect woman? Mm. Voice breaking. Tegan from Doctor Who. <laughs> Fine, you'll get a lot of that in the years to come. <laughs> How about this? How can we say democracy? With a single transferable vote. Do you like watching rugby? No. Would you like some afters? Treacle pudding, please. Do you take a journal? Yes, 2018. I think you might be me. I'm saying that I'm you. Who's the perfect woman? Tegan from Doctor Who. How about these ones then? Peter. Hairy. Shaving. Rarely. Women. Scary. Okay, maybe, but surely in the future my tastes will have matured. I'll be more intellectual, well-dressed and self-assured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, definitely. How often do you go to the theatre? Only when I'm forced. When do you read poetry? When I want to be bored. Iris Murdoch, question time. Are oh, things I do not do. But Duck, let's be honest. Neither did you. I think you might be me. I'm saying that I'm you. Who's the perfect woman? Tegan from Doctor Who. Yeah, I totally am. So, can, can I ask you a question about the future? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. So, in the future, do I, yeah. at some point, yeah. do I ever, um, um, do I ever get to do sex with a girl? <laughs> yes! That was pretty much the noise, the reaction at the time, yes. No, yes! <laughs> in fact, in the future, you become so incredibly sexually attracted to women, you have to hang around with this guy called Steve, <laughs> just to keep the average level of sexiness down. So you're saying I get to do sex with loads and loads of girls? Well, well maybe not loads, no. I, I, I suppose, though, that, that, that must be some comfort. What with living in a post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland and everything. No, 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 that's the thing, there isn't a nuclear war. Really? Really, really. In the future, lots of other amazing things happen instead. Listen, listen. In the future, everybody will eat hummus. <laughs> and there's computers in every home. There'll be a thing called Google that will tell you everything you ever need to know. Every single album on a matchbox sized device. A hundred TV channels, all of which you can rewind. The future sounds amazing. The future's bloody great. The future is all there for you. I don't think I can wait. Okay. 
right. Oh, oh, well, you'll have a piece of plastic, plastic. that you'll use instead of cash. And another piece in your pockets, that's a phone, a calculator and a map. Machines that answer phone calls, machines that do the washing up. A new series of Doctor Who that's quite good. The future sounds amazing. The future's bloody great. The future is all there for you. I don't think I can wait. How about this? Let me ask you this. Do we ever kick the Tories out? Yes! I bet they never come back. And do they make more Star Wars films? Yeah, yeah, I bet yeah. that they're not crap. Will we all be on TV? Oh, yes! It's called YouTube. Wow! And I bet everybody's supportive and very rarely rude. The future sounds amazing. The future's bloody great. The future is all there for me. I don't think I can wait. The future is all there for me. Maybe you should wait. You're sure there's no new film? Definitely not, definitely not. No. And I definitely get to do sex with Giles. In that case, I think I know why you're here. Yes, me too. There seems to be a hole in the space-time continuum. What has been caused by somebody altering the future. Yes, yes, you're here to show me a dreadful alternative reality where I end up a daft old bloke titting around in funny-smelling rooms. No, I don't think that could be it, no. Yes, yes, that's it. You're here to show me what I need to do to change my life, to fulfill, to fulfill my dream, my dream of becoming normal. I wish that I was normal. I wish I wasn't weird. I wish I could take all the things that make me different and chuck them in the bin. I wish that I was normal and not myself. I'm going to be happy like everybody else. I'm going to be normal I'm going to make a plan I'll forget all of my daft ideas And think about careers and my exams I'm going to be normal And find my place in the world Where I can talk about the weather And even better talk to girls Why worry about politics When you can make a joke Who needs a bunch of daydreams When the cigarettes to smoke I will get a pair of chinos I'll turn my computer off I'm gonna listen to the charts on Sundays And on Saturdays Have a job This is me now I'm normal Say goodbye to being weird I have taken all the stupid things That make me different And chuck them in the bin Say hooray for I am normal And not myself I'm going to be Happy like everybody else I'm going to be Happy like everybody else What was that an earthly noise? You're altering You're, al you're altering the future oh, I'm changing Changing! Changing! <laughs> Hello. I am a well-rounded, responsible adult. But you look... Even more sexually attractive? Yes. Because I am an alternative universe version of you from the future. A future where I am so sexually attractive to women, I have to hang around with several people called Steve. <laughs> just to keep the average level of sexiness down. So, where are we going tonight then? Well, I, I've been working on this programme on my ZX Spectrum. I'm just getting to no, no, place. no, no, no. You must go out and meet friends and have fun. Friends? Fun? But I'm too shy. Uh, I mean, uh, intellectual. Yes. Luckily, there's a cure for both shyness and intellectualism. Behold, the magical elixir. A pint of beer. A pint? I was thirsty. 
Hey, drink this. <laughs> but but doesn't beer make you fat? Why ever would you think that? And, and doesn't beer make you lose your memory? What does? Oh well, go on then. <laughs> oh no. No, that's all for that. I don't like yes, that. yes. It will appear unpleasant at first, but as your taste buds mature, your palate develops. You'll find an appreciation of final flavours of the, the hoppy brew that we all come to know and love. And be able to discuss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not what that is. Last show. <laughs> that's my me. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> That one. <laughs> <laughs> but but how will I know? Oh, really? How will I know which of the several different kinds of beer to drink? I'm glad you asked me that. I'm glad you asked because I prepared this folder for you, containing all the information you need. Now read that, listen, and learn. There was a time when even I could walk into a pub. I cast my eyes over ales of many kinds and not know which ones were any good. I had nary a clue about the nature of my booze. I couldn't sort a porter from a stout. I paid five quid for undrinkable shit until one day I worked the whole thing out. I saw them true, I saw them clear, I saw Hibbit's golden rules of beer. I was no fool, no I was a seer, so I give you him its golden rules of beer. It's not to do with gravity, and it's not to do with the grain. You haven't got to smell the hops, you simply need to know what's the name. Look for words like honey, wheat or dew, avoid the beers called old. Drink the words like autumn, summer, sunshine, harvest and gold. Out of the dark, your way is clear. If you follow him, it's golden rules of beer. You'll be well served if you are steered by him, it's golden rules of beer. If the name sounds like it was made up by three fat smelly old blokes in a brewery, <laughs> Only drink it if that's who you are. <laughs> but if you're asking me, I want to wake next day and shout, Hooray! I am reborn with the bowels of a king. My mind's refreshed, I've not fallen over yet, and I feel the overwhelming urge to sing. Let's give a slightly hungover cheer, for if it's golden rules of beer, the world is fat, groovy, and gear. If you follow him, it's golden rules of beer. Hib, it's golden rules of beer. I like beer. Ha ha! That's the spirit. Now, off you go for a night of daftness and drinking. But, but I've got to, I'm working on this thing on my spectrum. No, 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 no. Computing is just for weirdos and geeks. I thought you wanted to be. Normal! We are going to be normal and support the team that wins. We're never gonna cause a fuss because the both of us are gonna fit right in. We're going to be normal. We're going to be the same. We're watching Coronation Street and we'll read the Daily Mail. It's so easy to be normal. Just do what people expect. If you never go against the grain, no one can get upset. We're going to be normal, only doing what's allowed. It's so easy swimming with the tide when you're part of the crowd.
with you and me, we're normal. We're so average, you can tell that we are entirely normal, like everybody else. We are entirely normal, like everybody else. So much more normal fun where that came from. Manly banter, office chit chats, and of course, the highest form of hilarity known to humanity dad jokes. Dad jokes? In the corner of a pub or anywhere there's blokes, of a certain age there will be dad jokes. Workplace puns and daft remarks bound to make you grow. The highest, lowest form of art is dad jokes. Because, did I tell you, uh, they changed my prop, they changed the price of my favourite kind of sponge cake. Madeira? No, they've made it cheaper actually. <laughs> Buckle up, this may take a while. <laughs> when the monolith appeared two million years ago, it gave the human race the gift of dad jokes. Because, um, yeah, have you heard? No. There's been an explosion. An explosion? An explosion at the Formal Beverages Cafe. The Formal Beverages Cafe? Is everybody all right? Oh, yes, yes. There were no casualties. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas comes up once a year and everybody knows if there's one thing you will hear, it's dad jokes. Because talking of tea, I, I, I've been trying to become an expert in all the different kinds of tea. And, and how are you getting on with that? Not very well, no. actually. No, no. In fact, I mean, fell at the first herbal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought instead of that, I'd try and become an expert on the, all the different kinds of cantilevered ladies' undergarments. Really? And how did you get on with that? Not very well, actually. No, no. no. In fact, I mean, fell at the first girdle. <laughs> Have you thought yes. about becoming an expert yes. in small domestic rodents? I thought about that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and how did you get on with that? Not very well. No, 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 no. I mean, no, in fact, I fell at the first gerbil. <laughs> I know. How about becoming an expert in terrapins and tortoises? Yeah, I tried that. And, and, and how did you get on with not that? Not very well, actually. No? no, not very well. No, no. In fact, I fell at the first turtle. <laughs> Have you thought yes. about becoming an expert yes. in athletics? <laughs> yeah, that's going quite well, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> No matter where you hide yourself, no matter where you go, the time will come when you'll be telling dad jokes, dad jokes, dad jokes, dad No! 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 I, 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 are you sure that this is normal? Of course this is normal! What are you, some sort of weirdo? Something weird, you weirdo! I'm, I'm, I'm not weird. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. How can you be weird? You're me. And I'm just like everybody else. I mean, look at them. They're, 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 they're not weird, are they? <laughs> exactly. Being normal's great, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? I am so happy to be normal. Just like everybody here. I am entirely Happy not being weird. That's the spirit! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? It's a space time paradox! Who, who said that? It was I! <laughs> Ada Lovelace! But you're. The first computer programmer! Well, I was going to say a girl. I am a girl, yes, and quite, a, quite an attractive one at that. I do think handsome. I'd say handsome. 
Uh, but uh, why don't I just explain a little bit about myself, just to clear us up. So, uh, A.T.A. Lovelace had a mighty brain. She's the person who invented programming. Born in 1815, the daughter of Lord Byron. He split before we met because of all the other babies he was siring. My mother, she didn't want me to be wicked like my dad. She taught me the least naughty topics, science and maths. And it turns out I was good at them. I could not help mixing poetry and maths. I was an analyst and metaphysician. A T A Lovelace had a mighty brain. She's the person who invented programming. Oh, here's my friend Charles Babbage, who first saw of computers. I showed my different engine to the enchantress of numbers. That was what I called you, see? <laughs> her grasp of all my theories raised her high in my affection, so I asked her to translate a paper on my analytical engine. But I was more than just a translator, because my annotations there were longer than the original paper and first described software. Tell them, Chuck. Supposing, for instance, that the fundamental relations of pitched sounds in the science of harmony and of musical composition were susceptible of such expressions and adaptations the engine might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music. I basically invented Kraftwerk. <laughs> it was a conceptual breakthrough, the first to understand. Computers aren't just counting machines, they can make you dance! A BIE Performing Arts Survey, ladies and gentlemen. I give it a first. ADA Lovelace had a mighty brain. She's the person who invented programming. In later years, she tried to use calculus to see a way of understanding human neurology. She was frankly amazing, a woman out of time, a hero whose biography was an honour to make rhyme. ADA Lovelace had a mighty brain. She's the person who invented programming. When the alternative universe version of old you touched you, you just now, it created a space-time paradox. This formed a hole in the fabric of space-time through which the original version of old you was pulled to meet you, you just now. I see, and then when the original version of me told Mimi that the future was worth waiting for, this caused Mimi to create the alternative universe version of me, who touched Mimi just now and created a space-time paradox. Wow, that is both incredibly clever and completely straightforward. Yes. But what, what are you doing here? Oh no, I'm not actually here, here, I'm still in my own time period. I'm simply peeping through the cosmic veil. I think that you and I can converse like this because, well, you're a poet like what I am. Hold on a minute. I thought you said you were a computer programmer. Surely, computer programming and poetry are completely different things. Are they? Take a complicated idea And make the underlying point of it clear Compress it down to fit in memory Now tell me, what's the difference between programming and poetry? Programming is a poetry for our time It's a poetry for our time Inventing every line Sorted into stanzas so that you can find selected lines to quote Or just a phrase to paint into the epics that live underneath the web And word and database is programming It's a poetry for our time It's a poetry for our time I wonder what words were the written in pearl would pigs of you so pad for HTML? I reckon Byron would see the irony of writing words to change the world that we can't live without but no one ever sees. Programming is a poetry for our time. It's a poetry for our time. And even though it doesn't rhyme, the syntax of a JavaScript I 
I'm often be surprised And though the poets now don't have the glamorous style Of the poets of the past, they did neither when alive Because programming is a poetry for our time It's a poetry for our time The river running beneath our lives Is a poetry for our I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Programming is just like poetry. With one tiny difference. What's that then? You can get paid for programming. <laughs> now, I must away, young Mark. Goodbye, goodbye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. bye, bye. I'm back. Original classic flavoured me. What, what's, what's happened? Well, I was just having a chat to a love. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And I've decided to stick with the ZX Spectrum. That's great news! Is it though, really? I mean, was the ZX Spectrum really that important? Well... It made a generation Who can code A bubble bit for proper consoles Who all know that the games you get Day. Well, they might be very flash, but they'll never beat the thrill of getting through jetpack. Oh, hey, hey, 16K, what does I get you today? You need more than that for a letter. Old school round packs are much better. Start singing now, Steve. <laughs> Any time you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> the, show's, the show's ten minutes slow, it's fine. <laughs> Quick. Let's us in the library, writing down the pokes and beats, copying an access code, get a taste for home taping. Plenty shifts of map making. Ron needs some rubber keys, ran a bullet and loads of screens, then five minutes, fingers crossed, hoping not to witness the terror of our tape loading error. We all need to help with your homework. We all need to help with your homework. And the household accounts, if your dad ever works it all out. Everybody now, hey! Hey, 16K, what does I get you today? You need more than that for a letter. Old school brand packs are much better. So, if I stick with the ZX Spectrum... You'll have a hit song that millions of people will watch online and... About 15 people will come to see live. Wow, <laughs> so do you want to like, get to be like famous and be a celebrity and have loads of money and everything? Well, we never won an award. We never got on the news. We weren't the talk of the town. We never got a review. No photography shoots. For the cover of a fashion magazine. And if you take a look, in the record books, you won't find me. So what you're saying is, everything that we've done will be roundly ignored by the makers of taste and the style reports in the time yet to come when they're writing the history of the human race there'll be no trace of you and me we did it anyway, we were unaware Much too busy having fun to know that no one cares Cos, you know, we did have some fun And we did have some laughs In fact, a lot of them were the best times that I ever had All the places we went Everything that we did and we said it's amazing to think of all the dancing and drink and all the people we met And we did it anyway just because we could If I could have that time again, you know what? I really would
good. So you can stuff your awards. Forget the fame and the wealth. Because you know I won't swap this life for anything else. Who needs a glowing review? Don't bother asking for exclusive interviews. I don't need to have a lot of medals and cash with friends like you. I'm you, you're me, you're me, and we'll do it anyway, just because it's good. We don't need the approval of anyone. We'll still do it anyway, and it will be great. Who cares if no one ever knows? I'll have loads of friends and adventures. I guarantee it! And I, I definitely won't end up the sort of bloke who laughs at dad jokes and drinks loads of beer. I guarantee it. But, but there's definitely no nuclear war. Definitely not, no, no. And I definitely get to do sex with girls. Definitely! Eventually. Yeah. But don't worry about it, it's going to be great. But, but how will I know that I'm doing it right? How do you mean? Oh, you know, like those articles in magazines, you know, 20 things to do before you're 30. Those articles, yes. Learn another language. Do a bungee jump. Sort out your pension and love like nobody's ever loved. Swim with dolphins. Have a business of your own. Write a novel. Climb out killing Manjaro. If you're under 30, lucky you. But I suggest your time's best spent not trying to improve. With 20 things to do before you're 30, what a crock of shit. 20 things to do before you're 30, here's a better bucket list. Smoke bananas, fall asleep on a train. Get so drunk that you hallucinate Go out with someone awful Be friends with gits Dye your hair Shave your head Go for lunch and come back pissed Go to house parties Get into debt Take laxatives And try and lose weight Smoke cigarettes in bed Twenty things to do before you're thirty This is not a plan Twenty things to do before you're thirty Options not to hands. Experiment with chilli sauce Grow a beard Wear a long black leather jacket And pretend that you are weird Set fire to the oven Forget to do Christmas cards Drink cocktails Go to laundrettes Pay for milk with a credit card Cos if you're well past thirty and you look back You don't want to be thinking how cool you were You want to think What a twat <laughs> 20 things to do before you're 30 This is not the time 20 things to do before you're 30 Cause in later life You'll be busy Eating shortbread And collecting Allen keys If you're wide awake at 4am You'll be going for a week You'll live in mortal fear of having to buy shoes. If you're seeing something at 10 p.m., it'll be the news. But whatever happens, you can relax. Safe in the knowledge that you don't have to do any of the crap. Of 20 things to do before you're 30. No thanks, you're all right. 20 things to do before you're 30. No longer apply. 20 things to do before you're 30. So that's it. I've made up my mind. I'm going back to my teenage bedroom where I shall spend the next five years creating a computer array to simulate a haunted house for a computer game that only I will ever play. 
Hurrah! That's totally the best way you could possibly spend the golden years of your youth. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, okay, look, the thing is, um, later in life, there are going to be times when, you, when you're going to question some of the decisions that you've made and wonder if, well, maybe you could have done better. And, you know, when that happens, you just got to have a think about it and, um, well, appreciate the life that you did have rather than all the alternative versions that you didn't. And if that doesn't work? Well, then you write an hour-long show to justify <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the thing is, the only thing that's normal is that everybody's weird. Everybody's messed up, kept up late at night by their own set of fears. Every one of us is different, just like everybody else. And the only way to be happy is to accept yourself. Yeah, the only way for me to be happy was to accept myself. some sort of Disney musical. Hey, which I to off this comic. Whoa! Oh, what was that, was that a nasty noise? noise? <laughs> I, I think you must have repaired. I, 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 I think you must have repaired. <laughs> you can keep it after this, it's alright. The loneliest point. <laughs> I think you must have repaired the timeline. I'm going back, I'm going forward, I'm going forward to my own time because, let's face it, there was no way I was only going to do this once in the show, was there? <laughs> oh, I'm going, for, I, oh, I'm going forward, I'm going, goodbye young me, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. Oh, but, 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 but before I go, yes? copyright this whole idea. Then you can sue the arse off Steven Spielberg. Is, is that meant to be some sort of joke? Where we're going, we don't need jokes. It stops. Am I back? Hello? Steve? Steve? But, but, Steve. Hey, but there you are. Where have you been? I've, I, I've been on an incredible adventure to repair the timeline. What's been going on here? Not a lot, really. It's been messing about on my phone. <sighs> but I thought we were going to do a show. Well... There's still time for one last song. Nah, we're just going to have a pint, shall we? Whoa! Oh, look, now I'm changing the timeline. Steve! Steve! An, an ancient figure approaches. Steve! But, hello, ancient figure. Uh, who are you? I am you! From the future! Wow, what what amazing future time period do you come from? A week next Tuesday. <laughs> and I bring two, two important messages. Yes? Firstly, you must continue to hang around with him it to keep the average level of sexiness down. Of course, yes. And secondly, yes? you must do the final song. Otherwise, this show can never end. These people can never leave, and by my time, they've all wet themselves. <laughs> but whatever should the final song be? We bought it to help with your homework. We bought it to help with your homework. And the house all that counts. If you dad ever works it all out Everybody now Hey, hey, 16K What does that get you today? You need more than that for a letter Old school rap packs are much better Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much indeed for going to see Hey, Hey, 16K We start Mr Stephen Hewitt! <laughs> Well, we, uh, we hope you enjoyed the show this evening, but if you didn't... Maybe you guys just aren't ready for this yet. 
<laughs> but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> so, yes. uh, isn't that a Steven Spielberg joke? Not since you sued his arse off 30 years ago. Hurrah! <laughs> hey, hey, 16K, what does that get you today? You need more than that for a letter. Old school rap packs are much better. And if for N equals naught to two, those were the days next end.